All right, mate. Yeah, Uno, uh, UNO, 107% uh, for a move up. Well, if you get a dip here, um, I, I like it, but it, it it seems to me that it will take time. Uh, I like the base. Uh, I like the fact we're coming into the white 100 moving average. The distance here is still quite a lot. It kind of tells me that you know, they're, they're, if it does move up, it'll probably be a slow, choppy grind um, and, and move in there as this drops down. The, the distance is still very far compared to compared to the thickness of price here. Like, the price is very thin, but the distance is very far. Um, volatility has dropped right off here. Um, so, it's not what I'm saying is it's probably not going to be an easy move up there. But if, you know, again, if these lows can hold, uh, as I'm thinking that many of them probably can, at least hopefully can, then uh, eventually this should move up. Um, so it's not my favorite because of that distance. Uh, but I, I think with a bit of time, you know, it's had two very nice days to the upside, probably 10% there or whatever that is. Um, you know, if it digests it, if it, if it dips back down a little bit, I, I would probably like to buy it on a bit of a dip and then see it push up through this and maybe, you know, it starts consolidating above the white 100. And kind of in that process, this is going to be dropping. And, um, you know, in another week or so, it probably won't look as much of a distance when this drops and closes the price a bit. If we can have a bit of an up move and this drops down, it probably won't look so difficult. This is the problem with, with looking at apexes and trying to get an early on an apex. Sometimes they do look very far uh, apart and you think, oh, well, I might as well wait. But then, then you wait till later and, you know, the price is up here and it's only a, a 50, 60 percent move. You know, but if you had bought early and bought down here, it's a 120 percent move, for example. So that's the risk while getting in early. Uh, if you wait for a bit, and and uh, and let it get up and get settled above the the white 100. Well, then you have a higher higher quality. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a higher percentage trade, uh, lower percentage gainer, but a higher percentage of working out to the upside. Um, but by getting in earlier here, there's more risk involved because it could fail and roll over. Um, and and that's that's the tricky part about get, trying to get in early on an apex. Like for example, just on my other screen here, uh, this is it's just a random example. You know, if you had if you had took the risk early and bought here, thinking that this is going to run into an apex, you know, you would have you, you make a lot more percentage gainer than than either buying up buying here above the white 100 or buying here uh, above it and, and thinking that this can run. And, and by the way, I, just for the record, this is Baal here, but Baal looks really good. This is about to reclaim the white 100. This looks really good and, and Baal could get a big move soon. But anyway, um, so, so yeah, that's the risk. I, I do like it, but the problem uh, is that there's probably 10% risk here at the moment uh, because it's already had two, two let, let's just measure it instead of guessing. Uh, yeah, well, 10, 12% mm, risk at, uh, below this low. But if there was if there was some sort of a dip off this level to give a little bit of a better entry, I, I like it there because it gives you a lower risk or a higher reward entry than to maybe get that continuation. So I, I do like it. Um, you know, it's not my favorite, but sometimes, and to be honest, sometimes these small, small, small liquidity or small vo uh, volatility, sometimes you just get an extreme explosion out of these. The, the other option is to uh, trade a new three-day candle. This is already one of the largest three-day candles it's had. Um, if there was a dip on a new three-day or whatever, you know, it might get you in a little bit with less risk. Um, you know, it's totally up to you. At this point, there, there's probably 10% risk involved in getting in this. So uh, I, I like it on a dip better. You know, it's had a, a bullish, it's, it's had, a, had this doji on a monthly candle, which is good. That's kind of what you want to see to see some more upside. So th that is that is it's pretty good, I suppose. Uh, and it's getting follow through. Um, this is the tricky part. Uh, you know, what if we do get rejected and this drops away? So yeah, this is, 
I mean, if this flips red again, you definitely do not want to be in the trade. Um, I, I do have mixed mixed uh, reports, mixed uh, mixed thoughts on the entire thing. Um, it, it is one that could get a pop. We have a bullish engulfing weekly candle here and plan that we may want to get more upside. You know, w once you start closing above the yellow weekly, there is a better chance of getting that move. At this point, it's it's trying to form a bullish two week engulfing candle also. So there definitely is positives. The only thing is that you kind of kind of missed the missed the early boat, and now it's it's a little bit risky to get involved. So if we get that dip, yeah, uh, I I would like it more instead of FOMOing uh, up here. One thing I forgot to mention: there is a new five day candle. Sorry, uh, I said that wrong. I must be getting tired. There, there's a new monthly candle in five days time. It might actually be better to wait for that and trade the new monthly and see if you can get continuation.